That is not the universe we occupy. One out of basically a million of these reactions, one out of a million, the photon did not make a matter-antimatter pair. It just made a matter particle. What? It was very... You're, you're trying to find out why. Yeah. And I'm just saying, it is that. How do that you stop a, a gigantic existential yeah, yeah, you don't, asteroid? It's go in and you, you deflect it. How? Oh, by any shove on it that's sideways? Well, you're president of the United States. No, well, yeah, right? okay. There's a massive asteroid that's going to crash into the world. Yes. We have engineering plans for deflecting asteroids, and there are multiple ways to do it. You can have a gravitational tug where you can have a spacecraft that sits just ahead of it, and the two of them will want to drift towards one another, but you take the spacecraft and put a little retro rocket, and if you get this early, enough one centimeter per second tiniest amount will accumulate over time and you just have to make it so that it overshoots earth or undershoots earth in the universe there was so much energy every particle could be made so watch what happens you have a pocket of energy it becomes mass and the only way we know that can happen is if if it becomes a particle and an antiparticle pair matter and antimatter so the opposite of an electron is a positron it looks just like an electron, but among other things, it has the opposite charge of an electron, positron, okay? Every particle has an antiparticle. In the early universe, the temperature was very hot. 